Hey y'all, welcome to Captain's Log, episode nine. Today is star date, 2-29-2020. Happy leap year! <laughs> Yay! Okay, so I know I'm wearing a happy birthday hat and I got some champagne poppers here. Uh, there's no birthday. I'm not actually really here to celebrate leap year. Don't actually care. What I'm actually really excited about is the fact that we have two brand new AC units. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so this is actually the biggest celebration right now. I've been sweltering through five years of Texas summers in this godforsaken, air, horrible air-conditioned place. For any of you guys that have already been regulars here, you know that summer here is absolutely god-awful. But it's not anymore because we have two high-energy-efficient, beautifully perfect air conditioners, brand new. It's going to be a beautiful summer, so I'm very excited. That's what the hat's for. Okay, hat now part done. Okay, so... Other news, uh, today we've released a brand new awesome product, which I have mentioned on a couple of episodes before. The unsanctioned box set. So we're going to do a little unboxing here. Um, there were a couple things uh, that I mentioned in terms of pre-orders. We're still selling them. We still got a handful left. Um, the back of the box here indicates some pretty interesting stuff inside. So five 30-card decks with 16 new cards, which is interesting because uh, it's basically a bunch of reprints from um, other unsets before. Ten very cool tokens. That's literally what it says on the back of the box. Um, two six-sided dice, which I don't think is really an important or interesting part of this box set. And then literally says ten ridiculously gorgeous full art lands, five in premium foil. So that's really what everyone's most excited about, I think, right now is these lands. So let's crack her open and see what she looks like here. I haven't actually seen any of this yet, so I'm very excited right now to see what's in this sweet box. So, all right, got there. Um, so it looks like we've got the um, five decks in here. The symbol looks like a crab. Uh, so that'll be fun for Miles to describe to me at some point in the future. Uh, it's got the unhinged, unstable, um, and unglued symbols all together here. So that's pretty, uh, pretty cute. So these guys look, and it's literally reprints. This looks really fun, actually. So uh, they're all some monocolor decks. You're supposed to t combine two to play. The dice are moderately unimpressive. They're just gray uh, with just numbers on them. I'm not actually terribly excited about that. And I lost one here. Here we go. Um, but what I really am most excited about is these lands and tokens that I want to take a look at here. So what we've got, um, okay, fine. Yeah, these are actually, I saw the pictures of them, but these actually look really, really cool. So this is the plains, um, the island. This is, they're just phenomenal, actually. Uh, and the foiling on them is really nifty as well. The gold really shines very nicely on it. Um, this is not a typical foiling that we've seen. This is a very curious type of foiling. Uh, and I think I actually like it. I typically don't like foil cards, but these are really, really nice. So I might actually need to steal a couple of these. Uh, and the basics just look pretty normal. They, uh, in terms of their sh uh, shine, but they actually look a little more matted than usual, which I'm actually kind of excited about too. These are indeed, as the box describes, ridiculously gorgeous. So I'm in agreement. This is actually very good marketing and advertising from WotC. What is otherwise pretty cool, apparently the tokens have gotten a lot of attention as well. We've got the acorn stash. Apparently there are acorn counters in this. On the other side, a giant teddy bear. Uh, some goblins, which look pretty cool. Uh, more squirrels. You can always use more squirrels. The other side being beebles. No idea what that's about, but uh, it looks like a little red monster uh, chasing you with a fork inside a sewer tunnel, which obviously we all need in our lives. Otherwise, these dragons, which are, eh, they look like the dragons from Unstable. I'm not as excited about these. I am very excited about these beebles, though. Um, these are definitely going to be my one ones for pretty much everything at this point. All right. So let's take a look at some of these packs in here. See if there's anything. Um, oh, cool. We got Sword of Dungeons and Dragons. That was a good card. Um, 
Oh, brand new Unstable, I didn't actually even know this. So it actually comes with some regular basics. These are actually pretty nifty. I'm actually kind of excited about these as well. Um, looks like they're all the same, but uh, having new basic arts, I don't know, I think that's a pretty cool thing. I like basic lands. I think the arts on them are typically really nice. Alexander Clamilton, that's hilarious. Um, oh, they reprinted the Richard Garfield card. That's pretty awesome. I like that one as well. But looks like, yeah, these islands are pretty beautiful too. Those are really nice as well. Uh, but these look pretty cool. Um, honestly, in terms of the EV on them, the decks themselves uh, don't really seem to have a lot of uh, interesting stuff. You know, I mean, the, most of these cards, probably maybe a couple of the rares might have some good value. Um, I'm looking through them right now, and there's not a lot that usually people ask for that we can usually sell otherwise. So I don't know how uh, valuable any of the cards in these decks really are going to be. I feel like the basic lands, I looked on TCG, the basic lands are going for about 50 cents. So um, at about 10 of them here, you know, you're making five bucks just on the basics that are actually unique to these decks. So maybe 25 bucks just on the basics alone. Um, the rares, you know, not that much. Squirrel Farm is a good card. So that was, um, I mean, a good card in on sets at the very least, but everyone loves squirrels. So uh, sort of where we are, I think, with we're all in the same agreement on squirrels here. Uh, but yeah, in terms of that, there's only a handful of maybe some actually good cards that are in uh, the actual unstable or unsanctioned decks here. Um, from what I've seen online as well, the lands themselves, the non-foil lands are going for, I think the planes at lowest was $2, the island was around 7 so they're averaging around $5 a piece. So that's 25 right about there. The foil versions, though, uh, I'm seeing them as low as uh, around uh, maybe five to five to seven dollars for the planes. Uh, I saw 14 for the island, uh, so they're averaging around 10 there. So in terms of EV, the box is we're selling it for 59.99. Uh, it's on TCG Player as well for 59.99 for uh, TCG Mid. So looking at that, you know, you're averaging about 50 bucks for the foils, 25 for the full art basics. Um, and so just there alone is about 75, not including sort of all the tokens and all that other stuff. So it's still a pretty good deal uh, to pick these up, even just for the lands alone, it looks like. So, but this looks like a fun set. I'm excited to sort of play with it a little bit. i um, looking to see if we can get some people up here this weekend to put some decks together. Um, usually Unsanctioned is just a really fun time and that's sort of what I'm looking for. All the unsets previously have just been a blast to play, just casually. And so that's sort of what I think we're looking for this weekend. But other than that, uh, mystery boosters are coming out in two weeks, so if this is not interesting to you and you're looking for stuff that you can actually play in your commander decks and other constructed decks, mystery boosters are going to be the big thing. We are pre-ordering pre them for 105 right now, so they are available on the website. Link will be below as usual. And definitely get on those because those are going to be uh, allocated as well. Uh, this guy here was indeed allocated, was pretty much sold out. A lot of people didn't get the order, the, the numbers that they had originally ordered. So we got very lucky with the quantity we got. So we'll be able to have these available hopefully through the end of next week. But if you haven't picked up one or pre-ordered one, uh, definitely grab one now because it doesn't look like we're getting a uh, restock of these anytime soon. And otherwise, definitely hit those mystery booster uh, pre-orders as well. And look for our draft schedule coming up as well for those mystery boosters. So anyway, that's all for this week's episode. Uh, thanks, guys, for celebrating our new ACs and leap year and this crazy unset coming out on the same day and i'll see you guys soon love you bye